can artificial intelligence break India's language barriers? The Prime Minister has showcased the power of Bashini, the language translation tool, in a few of his public interactions. But is the technology still at a nascent stage? Can it bridge the language divide in mass communication arenas like a political rally, for instance? Something that could be a game changer in Indian politics. What are the key technical challenges ahead? And what's the multilingual India story? Joining me this evening, a special guest, the CEO of Digital India's Bashini division, Amitabh Nag, who has been at the forefront of this uh, initiative, sir. There's been a lot of focus on Bashini. While translation apps aren't really new, the real challenge is at a live mass communication level. What would be the key challenges technologically for a platform like Bashini as far as the specific Indian context is concerned? Yeah, technologically, the challenges will uh, keep coming because what you're doing is uh, you are actually translating uh, understanding the speech, then translating and then resynthesizing the speech again. So there are going to be, uh, you know, in, internet speed crunches, there are going to be processing speed crunches and also the other efficiencies which come in. So there would be these challenges and, uh, but uh, if we are using this technology over a period of time, uh, you know, you can always solve those problems like all other technological problems have been solved. Sir, sir, as you say that, where is the technology at at the moment? I mean, what's really the next big game changer? I mean, it's still only at a deferred translation stage or do we expect live translation along with intonation and capturing of linguistic sensitivities, voice, etc.? I mean, what's really the next big game changer that's coming our way? We are, you know, looking at specific use cases in Bashini where we are trying to translate one language to other and objectively enable people transact their day-to-day -day business, uh, which, which is, you know, which, we are, which they are doing. So that is something which we are working upon. You would have seen some of the demonstrations as well as live implementations there. So over a period of time, we, what we believe is that various use cases combined would you know, capture the various sensitivities we have with language and those communications would happen. So, you know, we have launched recently voice face payment. There are translations which are being used for, you know, uh, in the tech platform which RBI had launched. There are multiple such initiatives which are being launched and uh, these te technologically, technological and linguistic, uh, you know, uh, the linguistics, semantics, etc., etc., would be taken into account while we are launching this systems. Sir, as far as Bashini is concerned, the Prime Minister has been one of the biggest uh, brand ambassadors in using it in several platforms. In terms of a live translation before a large mass audience, say, in a big political rally, are we still at a very nascent stage technologically for that? There are multiple use cases which we are working upon and those use cases are going to make an impact. Uh, so those, you know, if you look at various demonstrations and the actual implementations we have done, it is impacting at a large scale on the masses. For example, the voice based payment which we had launched, what you can do is that dial a feature phone, right? Uh, use a feature phone to dial a number. And that number would ask you, uh, you know, what do you want to do? And uh, then it would guide you to making a payment. You only have to enter the PIN and you can do a voice based payment. Now that's going to impact the masses in terms of, uh, you know, how they actually do the financial transactions or send money to people. So there, there are multiple use cases which are being used and multiple use cases which will be uh, which are in the pipeline for the implementation. Sir, we're a country of many languages and la many <laughs> divides because of languages. We have a strong social divide on linguistic lines as well. Do you really see a platform like Bashini help transcend that divide? <clears throat> it's already doing so and it will continue to do so and that is what the National Language Translation Mission is scheduled to do. So we are on the mission and we already have achieved certain milestones which we were we had set for ourselves 
and we are looking at a goal which will take up. Obviously, AI is a technology which has already always got a scope of improvement and the opportunities of improvement will always be there. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, with the continuous training, creation of data sets, and having the technology and processing speed, we will uh, be achieving our goals. Right. right. It'll be fascinating to watch how artificial intelligence bridges some of these divides. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Amitabh Nag, for joining us.